So defensive communication is a form of protective mechanism that you use to play out unconsciously in order to protect your ego in an environment where you didn't feel safe, meaning that you were being criticized by someone like your family members, like your mom and dad, like your siblings or like your friends, that you felt like they were uh, not understanding you or not hearing you out or they were uh, not really paying attention to what you have to say and what you are feeling and um, that they were using something to make you feel threatened and feel afraid. So what happens is we develop these protective mechanisms and what we do as a result is we become very self-righteous, meaning that I'm constantly trying to prove my point, trying to prove that I am not at fault. And so why do I do this? Because I don't want to be punished. So that is related to the fear. When you were penalized for what you were really feeling, what you needed to say because it was denied or they didn't really understand you. And so now that you feel so much injustice with whatever or whoever that disagrees with you, you automatically go into the defensive communication mode, meaning now I can't really hear the other person. I can't really listen what the other person has to say. That means I can't really understand the other person or the situation. Why? Because I am so busy trying to prove myself right, meaning become self-righteous. I need to prove my point as to why I am not this or as to why I have made that choice, as to why I should have done that, shouldn't have done that. It's not always about trying to explain yourself to the other, but also it happens with explaining something to yourself as well because what happens is in that moment we are used to holding a lot of guilt a lot of self-blame because when we expressed it was denied rejected or it was wronged or punished so we hold that fear inside that i might get punished and we start to learn to doubt ourselves and we start to be afraid of something that's going to put me as my fault. And so we are being burdened with all this guilt and fear. And now we don't like that feeling, right? So we get so caught up in self-righteousness. When we are constantly in that communication methods, what happens is it demeans or weakens the ties or the bonding ability with other people because it's like this. You got to always hear me out. You got to always see me, do this for me, right? All about these demands that we don't have the space to give understanding or love or kindness or compassion because we feel something lacking inside all the time. And whenever we have a conversation, especially serious issues, I can't really be honest because I'm disconnected from my own true emotions because I'm so busy defending my ego with self-righteousness without realizing what's going on inside. And so whenever someone says something, I see it as an attack against me. And so the person who expresses their emotions, their thoughts and ideas that are different from you, now you see that as an enemy because it's, they're not with you. So um, when someone doesn't agree with you or someone has different points of view, now unconsciously we start to get into a conflict or a debate or an argument very easily because everyone who's not to my point of view or my belief or my morality of how things are, they turn into an enemy very easily. And so you're likely to get into a debate or an argument which causes you to be in a fight mode. And that triggers fear in others. And you might do certain things like collect evidence and proofs and, you know, have this passive aggressive communication style. 
that you're going to utilize to punish someone in an indirect ways when it's not your way, when someone doesn't cater to your needs, meaning your ego needs, then what happens is they're going to feel triggered as well. And they're now going to be in a fight mode because now they're feeling threatened by you. So it creates these wars and not harmony. These fears will be only transformed by giving it more love, not dislike. And so as we do so, what will happen is you will eventually learn to get really honest with yourself by connecting with your deepest desires, needs, and feelings without your own judgment of what is right, what is wrong, because you're so used to being wronged, it was hard for you to accept, but always to escape or blame or complain or deny. And so now what's going to happen is as you learn to really trust your emotions, allow them to flow in without judgment, you are trusting whatever that comes is for you. And in that moment, what's really happening is you're starting to open your true self up. And with that, you can start to communicate more open and honest and in a very loving, assertive way without demanding or without immediately assuming the others as your enemy. As that takes place, you're going to be in a more harmonized place because you hold vibration of unity within you.